20 meters below the water surface off the coast of Bali in Indonesia. This coral reef is home to thousands of species of fish. Here they find food and shelter. But it's not just marine life that depends on the reefs for its survival. In Le village on Bali's north coast, fishermen earn their living by catching ornamental fish. They fetch top prices abroad. But in recent years, fishermen like Wei and Gambal have been finding it harder to catch enough of the exotic, colorful fish. In our community, we earned less and less from our catching fish. Global warming is one reason. It's caused the temperatures of the oceans to rise, and coral is very sensitive to such changes. If reefs lose too much of the photosynthesizing algae which lives in coral and gives it its color, the coral bleaches and dies. But the reefs are also being destroyed by cyanide fishing. In Southeast Asia, fishermen often spray cyanide onto the corals to stun the fish and make them easier to catch. But the poisonous chemical also kills the coral and many of the reef's inhabitants. In recent years, 20% of the world's coral reefs have been destroyed. Another 20% are badly damaged. It can take years, even decades, for the coral to recover. Without the reefs, there would be no ornamental fish. And the fishermen from Le village can earn up to 115 times more for them than for plain gray fish. That's why Wei and Gambal has convinced the other fishermen in the village to return to traditional fishing methods using nets instead of poison. A few people asked how they were supposed to feed their families. They just didn't understand. But after a few of them figured it out, they also convinced their friends and families to start fishing with nets again. The damaged reef needed to recover in order for villagers to once again earn their living from fishing. With the support of the United Nations, the fishermen created coral farms on the seabed. When the corals are large enough, they're transplanted from the farm to the reef. The strength of this project is more of the feeling of sharing the ownerships, uh, not just sharing the benefits, but also sharing the risk, uh, sharing the feelings of learning together. Gradually, the reef is beginning to flourish again. Even a few species of fish that people here believed had died out have been spotted swimming around the coral. Meanwhile, many tourists, especially divers, visit Le Village to marvel at the reef and the coral farms. And five years ago, the village started a fish exporting business. Begitu. We look after the fish until we get orders for them. Then we send them abroad to Canada, the Philippines, the U.S., the Netherlands, Germany and Australia. In the last two years, orders have tripled. Even the village's youngest inhabitants now learn how to protect the coral reef. But environmental experts warn that if the coral reefs are to survive in the long term, we must stop the world's oceans from heating up.